Guys, welcome to a remote learning from Nova Fencing Club. Today we're going to talk about tactical wheel and also cover several different terms so that the understanding of fencing is a little bit clearer for everyone. So first and foremost, before we get to the tactical wheel right here, we're going to talk about, first of all, fencing tempo. A fencing tempo is the time it takes to complete one fencing action. A simple attack is a one tempo attack. Here are some examples of a simple attack. A thrust. Advanced thrust or a lunge. So now we're going to start with a tactical wheel. First and foremost, a simple attack. A simple attack is a one fencing tempo action. It can be direct or indirect. A direct simple attack is an attack to the same sector as your initiation. So, as an example, in Sabre, if you're initiating an action to the head, you finish to the head. If you initiate the action to the head and finish to flank, that will be an indirect simple attack. It is still a single tempo action. In Foil or in Epe, it can be an attack to the shoulder, or changing lines going from the shoulder, or dropping down below the arm, or going into the arm in epe, or going to the chest in foil. Those are examples of indirect simple attacks. Simple attacks are prepared by building the initiation of the bow with the various advances, retreats, with various distance plays, preparatory actions with the blade, such as false beats, creating a situation that for both distance and delivery will accommodate a simple attack. A simple direct or simple indirect attack. Stop. How do you defend against a simple attack? You defend against it with a parry followed by a repose. So a simple attack is the initiation of the wheel going into the next action that follows. A defended uh, action that defends against it. Parries can be done pronated or supinated. Pronated parries are parry one, two, three, and four. Supinated parries are five, six, seven, and eight. The numbers are irrelevant. The main focus is on pronated versus supinated parries, and the focus is on making an action that will prevent the initiation simple attack from succeeding. Now we go into the compound attack. Now Coach Jeff will demonstrate various compound attacks. Number one, advanced lunge. Balestra. Double advanced lunge. Advanced half advanced lunge. So, Coach Jeff just demonstrated various compound attacks. Now, compound attacks will also include actions on the blade attacks, such as a beat attack, such as an oppositional action in epi. Those are all compound actions. They require more than one tempo to complete. A compound attack is 
structured around the ability to deceive a defending opponent. As an example, advance with a false action against one sector, also known as a feint, and against an op uh, opponent's attempted parry, disengagement into a different sector with a lunge. Those are all examples of compound attacks utilized against uh, parry repose. So, going back again to the very beginning of our tactical wheel. Step one, simple attack. Simple attack gets defeated by a parry repost. A parry repost gets defeated by a compound attack. Attack that's designed to provide a false, a signal that creates a false a response from the defendant and finishes into a different sect. Stop. Compound attack is at no more than one tempo. Most of the time it's going to be two plus tempo attacks. In foil, a lot of times it's multiple movements forward until the attacker is within the range of succeeding with a hit. In Saber, a compound attack could be the same thing. It's chasing down the opponent that is being defensive, chasing them down and at the right time delivering the attacking action as a hit. In Epe, a compound attack would work against an opponent who is keeping a broad distance and the attacker who is looking for an opportunity to close in aggressively to deliver the hit is going to create a situation that draws the opponent out. As Sam Shack says, Epe specifically is a game of chicken with whoever extends first loses. So, compound attack leads us into a next situation. Counter-attack. A counter-attack is an attack into attack. Simple example with the right-of-way weapons. If an opponent is making a multi-tempo attack, if you can beat them by a significant piece, uh, percentage of tempo, you will be able to win out an action with an action called a counterattack. Attack into attack. As an example, an opponent is making triple advance with multiple disengagements in foil, followed by a lunge. Into one of the early disengagements, it's a very possible to make an aggressive, fast, strong attack into what could be considered the preparatory action and win the touch. And Saber is very similar against an opponent attempting to deliver a compound action. Multiple feints, multiple steps followed by a lunge, finding an opportunity from a close distance to deliver a hit in time into the preparatory actions of the attacking opponent. In Epe, there is no counterattack per se. It's simply winning the tempo, winning the timing of an action. And in Epe, counterattacks are bread and butter of successful fencers. They will draw out a longer, stronger attack from the opponent and will utilize their ability of timing and distance to pick off a near target, such as a hand, a wrist, or a forearm, or perhaps engage the blade with a strong beat or an oppositional action and hit as a response. All of these are, could be considered counterattacks. Counterattack can also be delivered against a hesitation of the opponent. This is especially effective in foil and in saber. 
it's much more pertinent to right of way weapons rather than an FA where first one hits, first one wins. So we have just discussed in general terms what exactly a tactical wheel is. A tactical wheel basically is a structure of a fencing belt. Simple, into a defensive, into compound, into counterattack, and continuing on. You can build it into a second or third intention utilizing the same exact principles.